I'm going to give a quick video here. I'm going to try and keep my videos down to two minutes for now on because I just talk too much and I'm losing myself and my bat babbling and it's annoying. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go straight to the point. Constitution is very important. Now a lot of people are going to colleges and universities and you're being taught that you're smarter and better than everyone else because you have a bachelor's degree in liberal arts or basket weaving and that means that you know everything about politics and the stuff going on over here because you you learned how to do something with this little yellow cup over here therefore you know everything and it's very difficult I'm not, not going to deal with that anymore constitution you read it it means what it says as much as that offends a lot of these liberals and universities now like oh, the constitution means the words that it says how dare you because you like guys like to be offended by everything you know hey look at this feel offended i got them lying around the house so um what is the president what's the president supposed to be well the thing is is a lot of people out there when obama will do something illegal that this says he's not allowed to do People say, well, he's the president, so ha ha ha, whether you like or not, what the president says goes. Actually, no. No, this, this is not China, it's not Germany, it's the United States of America, which means whatever the president says means shit. Congratulations. A truth. Congratulations? That's the wrong Anyway. So, uh, I'm coming up on my two minutes ready. Damn it. Our president has nothing to do with the law. He's only supposed to sign them into law or veto them. It's that simple. He cannot just write his own law. That's Congress. We have the House and we have the Senate. The SCOTUS is supposed to do whatever it takes to uphold the Constitution. Now, if they ever go against the Constitution, try and rewrite it or get rid of anything, that's treason. They're supposed to be kicked out. And uh, those judges, uh, it's called high treason, not high treason. What is it? Ah, I forget. But uh, anyway, it's all in here. I recommend you get one. Uh, your local representatives have constitutions, this one here, for free for you. And I recommend you grab it, you read it, I'm over two minutes. But the President of the United States is supposed to be the Commander-in-Chief, the man to lead us out to war, the man who's supposed to be scary to other nations. And then Vice President, everyone else in his cabinet are people he assigns and appoints them to other positions. The president does not do everything himself. He is the man and a leader who can negotiate and know where to put other people in order to make things work. He finds a talent, he finds what someone's good at, and he uses them for a purpose. That's what the president is supposed to do. He delegates. He spots what people can do, and he uses them for what he finds best suitable for the people of this country. The president does not, he is not a king. He is not an emperor. A lot of people seem to have that mindset about the president. Now, another thing, too, is the government works for you. They work for us. We pay them in order to protect us and protect our rights and our liberties. That's the point. It's not whatever the government says go. If you believe that whatever the government says goes, guess what? The whole world operates that way, except us. So instead of trying to change us and make us and force us to believe your personal opinions and what you want to be true, you can go ahead and leave. Americans, we're not going anywhere. We've held on to this nation for almost eight years now under Obama's rule, trying to destroy this country, and he hasn't taken us down. Good for us. We're pretty strong. We can handle a lot. Ted, um, Donald Trump, I was going to say Ted Cruz. I used to support Ted Cruz until a month ago. Donald Trump is what we need because he is tough. He is scary. He has a background. He doesn't, doesn't put up with other people's crap. He had a problem with Megyn Kelly, and he looked at that, and he knew. It's like, this is a waste of my time. I'm not going to waste my time if nothing's going to be, if it's, nothing good's going to come out of it. I'm skipping the debate. It's funny how people try to spin that and say, well, if he doesn't waste his time doing these other things, then what's he going to do with problems where his time's important if he's got to negotiate with Korea, just not show up? The fact that he didn't show up to waste his time with a little nobody on a little debate and chose to use it for our vets I think actually proves otherwise don't you anyway Trump is what we need whether we like it or not he's perfect for the economy he's the only one who knows how these things work he's the only one who's been right about just about everything that he's said and he's got an amazing record and that's what you base people on 
their record and their actions, not the wor words and their promises. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's base everyone on the words and promises. And who's the only one who has backed up their word with everything? Trump. Ted comes in in close second.